It is now day two of the pineapple experiment. Day one, kind of a bust, but we will press on. We are going to get more pineapple when the light changes. Let me hear you say that you really wanna the pineapple challenge. A challenge in which for three days all I eat is pineapple. At the end of every day, it is taste tested. If you want to follow along on Twitter, follow the hashtag pineapplecom. Back to day number two. So day one was a bust, but it could possibly be the cheeseburger with onions and the mashed potatoes that were heavy on garlic the night before that did it. Just saying, there's a possibility. So. The only real way to find out is to go through with the three days of all pineapple and see what that does. Let's purchase pineapple. Picking the right pineapple, how do you tell? I used to think you pull out a tough leaf and it pulls out easily, that means it's ripe. Apparently that means nothing. Don't do that because it could also mean that it's just rotten. What you do is you look for some yellow forming down here, but if it goes up too high, it's probably rotten too. You can also smell to see if it's sweet. First meal of the day, 100% pineapple juice, which you saw me pick up at the store. Drinking this while I am editing yesterday's episode of this. There is a lot of intro stuff, and I will never finish. Okay. So here I am at Zach and Christie's to upload my video because the internet at the hotel sucks. Uh, it was gonna take like 155 minutes. I can't be having that. And Zach, had some ideas for what this whole thing should be called. Go. You know, well, there's jerk sauce, Jamaican jerk sauce. Sometimes I call Tori J, J Jamaican jerk sauce. <laughs> and then we were talking about, like, well, supersize me, right? But there's so many different puns already based on supersize me. You could just go with supersize me. Well, sure, you could. How about super suck me? There you go, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's good. I'll be more natural this time. Oh, uh, there's nothing natural okay, about do this. Do it again. I'll be more natural this time. Ready to go. How about super suck me? Boom! That's perfect! <laughs> <laughs> you guys got a pizza? Pizza from uh, the pizza factory. Can I smell it? I don't think you should. That's <clears throat> like, The particles are going to contaminate you. So the video finally uploaded. Now I'm back at the hotel and I'm about to have dinner. Pineapple is so much better than yesterday. Yeah. While eating pineapple, I figured I would look up some facts about pineapple from a random website that doesn't cite anything, and it's probably not true. You cut up a pineapple at home, you normally chuck the skin corn ends in the bin. The pineapple canning industry doesn't though. These bits are used for making alcohol, vinegar, and animal feed. Each pineapple plant only produces just one pineapple a year. <gasps> Fact number three. Unripe pineapples don't just taste vile, but can actually be quite poisonous. Eating it causes serious throat irritation, and it has a strong laxative effect. This one doesn't sound true, but oh well. Fact number four. Pineapples grow slowly and can take up to two years to reach full size. So when we pick them, they're much smaller, but if left to their own devices, they can reach up to 20 pounds. That's oh, fake. It's the internet, where you can say whatever you want. Fact number five. The bromelain and bromelain, uh, the bro, the bromelain, the bromelain enzyme in pineapples breaks down proteins. This means that you can use pineapples or pineapple juice as a meat tenderizer. And I just like this one random last fact on this website. In case you find yourself on a sailing trip in the tropics without any Ajax, you might like to know that pineapple juice mixed with sand is very good for cleaning boat decks and machete blades. Here's a random poll. Uh, at Zach and Christie's, they had pizza. Some people put pineapple on their pizza. Do you like that? I personally hate that. I would much prefer just pineapple and pizza, like that Hawaiian pizza thing. No good. Oh well, that is it for today's pineapple experiment thing, except for, of course, the interview. So let's go to the interview. <laughs> Okay, you're ready for day two interview. Bring it on. That's what I like to hear. Question number one, how did it taste compared to the last time? So much better. Like, so much better. Overall, it was 
It was a little better than usual, but it was so much better than yesterday. All right. Number two. On a scale of one to ten, rate the flavor. I would give it a six. Maybe a six and a half. All right. Out of ten. Question number three. Could you taste any pineapple? No. Really? No. I don't think so. Do you know what pineapple tastes like? I do know what pineapple tastes like. Okay. <laughs> Question number four. Did this pineapple tasting encourage you to do more of the same in the future? Sure. I guess. Yeah, why not? All right, we're on the right track now. Well, thank you, Miss Lovely, for this interview. Uh, we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.